how to deal with virus die website antivirus the main thing you should know about virus die website antivirus is that think that it help you remove malware on your websites completely automatically and with high accuracy so your site runs stable after cleanup virus die website antivirus can cite and remove redirects trojans backdoor shell scripts and other malicious code from PHP, JS, HTML, images, system files, and even binary files. If virus that detects incurable malware, you can investigate the issues yourself using our built-in tools. Let's see how virus that website antivirus works. The main button for website antivirus is a scan wheel. This button starts the scan process and at the same time it's a progress bar so let's start scan your website you can see the real-time process of your website scan right in your dashboard well the scan process takes seconds or minutes in some cases and depends on the speed of the connection. Okay, the scan process been ended. As you see, the seven infected or suspicious files found, but no any marker about any cleaned files. That is because the, through the all the scan process, the automatic cleanup has been disabled. It doesn't matter, we can turn it on and run the scan process again. Now let's see what kind of files found. Just click here and now we see the some sort of hint and it says that out of seven files, six can be cleaned automatically. Okay. Let's see the scan report. The last scan report contains seven files. You can view the details about the malware found in the file. Just click on incurable or curable link. So, here we see a complete description of the malware. The stranger level, the name of malware, the status, this is, means this is malware, the availability of automatic cleanup is available, and about malicious code highlighting is available too. Okay. The other one, and here's the name some data so it's pretty much similar to curable files as well you can clean up curable files line by line by clicking the icon to auto cleanup so let's try to do it okay now we see that the file should have been cleaned automatically. And here the restoring or recover button. So you can restore all cleaned files for the last 30 days. Click recovery and restore the file. Okay, now file restored. You can remove the file right from here or add it to the list of exclusions or remove it from this list. The list of excluded files available right here by the link. Now it's empty. To add some file to the list of exclusions just click on plus icon okay now the one file excluded two files three
three files, etc. There is a way to make multiple operations with multiple websites. Just check the number of files you need, or select all files, and add it to the list of excluded files, or remove, or remove all files from a server. Seven files. Okay. Okay, you can remove the files from the list of excluded files right from here. Okay, let's back to Malrisk and clean up. Here, the list of your records, and here, the same button to start the scan process. Here, the switcher to enable or disable automatic cleanup. Now it's turned on, now it's turned off. Okay, and here you see the last 30 day statistics bar. The red bars mean the website been affected on the date. The gray bars mean there were no any scans at the date. Green bars mean there are no malware found on the date. Okay, let's back to the last scan record. Okay, just click on that. Okay. Let's see the details. What files were found. Just click on a file block. Okay. And now we are in a built-in file editor. You can make a screen wider. Okay, here are some tabs, the edit, the info, and the file permissions. Okay. And some buttons, remove the file, download the file, and save. Okay, here you may see that malicious code highlighted. See the details by clicking the link, okay. This is malware treasure MG's image fake. Okay, and this is a script, this is masked. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see the info. Okay, here the name of file, here the absolute path, the size, the date of the last modifications, the user group, the owner the status, curable or incurable, the link of the description, OK. The other one way to see the description, OK. And file permissions. By the way, you could choose the file file permissions right from here. OK, let's back to the edit bar. Now you see, let's really malicious code. We can remove it manually or just click and remove it automatically. Okay, let's see. The file been cleaned. Okay, we see the status removed. Okay, see the details in the file editor. Ah, now we see the file content is blank, but now we have a backup tab. Let's see on it. Okay, here's our cleaned file before the cleanup. You can restore it right from here. Okay, fine. File restored. By the way, you can abort all cleanup results for the last scan report just clicking Cleanup Results Abort. Okay, let's see the other file. Here's the other type of malware. 
Trojan inject 76. Okay, the automatic cleanup is available to this file. But what about the type of file that means suspicious, not just infected? Look at this. The automatic cleanup is not available for the sort of verdict. Okay, let's see it close. Let's find the highlighted malware in the file. Okay, we see it's just a PHP info. This is not a malware, and we can exclude it for the next scans. Okay, now let's enable the automatic cleanup and rescan the website again. You can see the progress of scan and removal process as well. Okay, now we see that out of six files, six been cleaned automatically. Let's see the details in the last cleanup revert. Okay, here the malware in the backup, and there is no malware in the current file. Okay, now we may see that the file rep.php been deleted, not just cleaned. So that means that you can't view the file content. You can just restore it. Okay. Here are the details. The current file. The old file with the malware. And the last one, okay, the file with malware. You see the malware right here. And now the file with no malware, a clean file. So that's great. One more important thing that you can share the cleanup revert right from here to any email you want okay. and by the way when automatic cleanup is on the antivirus removes curable malware automatically through the all scan process okay. and more that you can set up the scheduling scans with a 6, 12 hours period or daily and automatically get email alerts. You should know that you will not get an email alert if your website is clean. You'll get it just once it is, it's infected or clean it from malware. Okay, that is how virus die antivirus works.